Hello and welcome, shall I say back or two? I'd say back to my YouTube channel, but it's been about four years. So welcome to our brand new shiny old YouTube channel. Um, I'm just going to put a hair mask on while I'm talking to you. One, because I need to put a mask on my hair and two, because I feel less awkward if I'm doing something. And the intro is always the awkward bit. But anyway, welcome to our YouTube channel. I've been talking about this for so long. I started one, I think it was four years ago, but it might have been three, one minute. We just got, oh, sorry, my hair's falling out. This is glamorous. We just got the house. So three, three years ago, we'll say, oh, 2020. 2020, we're now in 2020. Anyway, I'm rambling. So yes, welcome to my YouTube channel where you will see me, you will see a bit of George, you will see family life. I'm going to be doing videos mainly in vlog format just because that's what I kind of like to watch. I absolutely love YouTube. I watch it every day like TV and my favourite types of videos, oh, what am I doing with this hair? One minute, let me just tie it up. Sorry, yes, my favourite types of videos are just vlogs with a little bit of everything, a bit of a haul, a bit of food, a bit of life, going here, there and everywhere, sit down, chatty videos, but all in one thing. So that's what I'm going to be doing. What can you expect from us? The crazy life. When I was last on YouTube, I had two children and a baby. We've now got three children and a baby. So we'll be here. Maybe doing a bit of routines and things like that, but not too much structure. I'm not really a structured person. We're not really a structured family. We live in a madhouse. And yeah, we're just going to document whatever we document. I'm going to commit to one video a week. I might do more than one every now and then. But one video a week to ease myself in. It's going to be the summer holidays soon. The kids break up in around about 10 days. So we'll see what we get up to over the summer, days at home, days out, barbecue days, you know we love a barbecue, if you don't know we love a barbecue, I'm not exactly a fashionista but my take on fashion, whatever I get I'll be uploading on here so let me know if there's anything else you want to see, right that's the boring intro over. <coughs> So today is Wednesday. I am at home alone for another, I don't know what time it is, probably around about two hours I've got left. We've got three at school and one in nursery and a husband at work and that's about it. I've washed my hair, I've put a hair mask on. I'll show you what hair mask. This one, it's a bit, it's, oh god, blow neck. This one, it's a bit bougie but I got a voucher for my birthday and I don't even know if it's good for your hair, to be honest. I just love the smell. It's this one by Lilabo. And the fragrance is Hinoki. Is that the fragrance? Yeah, it must be. Honestly, it's the best smell ever. We went to a hotel last year. We went to a hotel last year in Cyprus called the Amara Hotel. And like this was the, you know, the little toiletries you get in the hotel. And I've been obsessed with it ever since. So I got a John Lewis voucher for my birthday. Thanks, friend, who got me the voucher. And I ordered this. As I said, I don't even know if it's any good for your hair, just like the smell of it. I've done my hair mask. I've got washing to do. I've got to change the bed sheets, even though I put fresh bedding on my bed last night. But the baby spilled a drink on it this morning. Then it'll be after school. I'm going to make a really nice salad for dinner tonight. And I'm going to share the recipe on here because people on Instagram have been asking for it and I'm just going to share it on here now and then it'll be homework, bedtime and then I'll probably go and sit in the kitchen and watch my TV and George will sit in the living room and watch his TV because he's gone obsessed with Love Island and I can't be bothered to watch it, I'm a bit over it now. I feel like I'm, a, I'm 35, I can't really be watching 19 year olds kiss anymore, it's just not my vibe. This is my outfit of the day, not very fancy. Leggings because we live in England and the weather in July is atrocious. And a linen shirt because I love to live in linen shirts from H&M. This is my favourite colour, I love blue, I just love... Oh, my arm's falling off, oh, not very good at this. 
uh yeah because i just love blue and i love linen and i love creased linen i love the look of worn in creased linen and h&m is such a good price so i've got about 10 different colors in this and i'll probably get more in future while i'm here chatting away in the bedroom i thought i'd show this look at this new tv that we got how good is that it's the samsung frame George got it yesterday and put it up. Excuse the marks on the wall. I need to go over it with a magic eraser. But yes, it's the Samsung frame. We're going to change the frame where it's black around the edge to either white or like a pale, oaky, woody colour. But I'm obsessed with it. This is my current favourite family picture that we got at a family wedding last week or the week before. Yeah, two weeks ago and there's always one isn't there there's always one and it's always andriana never mind it's just before one o'clock i am at nursery to pick up the baby she does half a day on a wednesday and this is just my favorite place to come i know it sounds silly maybe it's just the joy of getting rid of a kid but this location it's just so nice like my dream is to have a view of a field one day from a house I say that, but if I had a view of a field one day at my house, I might be scared that no one can hear me scream if I'm getting murdered, but hopefully I won't get murdered. And of course, Mother Nature is doing her thing. And as soon as it's time to pick up a child from an educational place, it rains. You do awesome. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> right, take three. Hello, hope the kids are in from school. Apologies if you don't like the sound of crunching. Because I'm gonna get the camera. baby's gonna get the camera. This one has just been crying because she Why are we crying? Tell them why you're crying. Why are you crying after school? You don't wanna come home. Oh no, we've not even paused the TV, I bet you can hear the tennis sunset. No, yeah, just tell me you, don't pause it. Oh, sorry. Oh, we're not allowed to pause live TV, I forgot. Not sports. Um. Because I'm not doing the tennis. Wimbledon, I don't know what part of Wimbledon it is. Mm. If I friend's granddad, is this guy, is this guy who does Wimbledon? Your friend's granddad does Wimbledon? Yeah, but... What does he do? What does he do? Your friends tell you all sorts. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm Filming in the living room with the kids straight from school when they're all crunching on crisps and George is trying to watch Wimbledon. Didn't quite go to plan. So now me and this one have come in the kitchen and I'm going to make my favourite salad. Which is made out of honey, olive oil, feta cheese, uh, Please. She has to do this by the way. What? You've said pomegranate, I think. Oh, I pomegranate? Yeah. Balsamic. One lemon and one of pieces. Thank you very much, dear. And no, that's not that's for your dinner, that red pepper. This is for your chicken wraps. Right then. It's literally the easiest. Oh, here she is. It's literally the easiest salad to make. I got the recipe from George's cousin, and like I said, I absolutely love it. So we've just got salad on the bag. That is the wrong salad. I prefer the darker one. So I'm mixing some spinach in. But normally I just get like an Italian leaf salad. Some of that, some of that, some of that. So the salad is the base, and then we're gonna go in with some pomegranate seeds. Ooh. Not too many. Oh. Pomegranate seeds, walnut, walnut pe pieces. Walnut pieces. Just Ooh, chuck it all in as much as you like, and then some feta cheese. We need the knife. Right, one minute. Break it up with our hands and chuck it all on. We've got messy. Right, let me wash my hands. You've got snow on your hands. <laughs> For the dressing, we're going to go with a blob of olive oil. Olive oil! A squidge of balsamic. Balsamic! And then a squidge of honey. 
some honey, slight delay on the honey, bear with me. Sorry for the noise of the background, it's just my brother outside. Okay, a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. Oh no, we've got a pip. Oh no. Wait there. You got the pip out? Take the pip out. And right, get my daddy's tea. out, you can mix. Give yeah. it a good mix. More, more, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. And then the dressing just goes all over like that. I'm having this with chicken breast tonight, but it goes amazing. I don't even know if you can hear me with all the kids in the background, but it goes amazing with prawns also. I'm still in the kitchen, but it's no longer Wednesday. Yesterday was just a write-off. I didn't vlog anymore. A lot of tantrums, a lot of screaming. Kids being sent to bed earlier than normal because they've got a bad attitude, all that kind of stuff. So we're starting afresh today. And I thought I'd um, show you what I got in this PR package from Next as I'm opening it and, uh, and unpacking it. I thought, why not show it on the blog? Okay, so a bit of background. This is Next helping to spread the word about the summer reading challenge by the reading agency in partnership with the youth sports trust oh, that was tricky to get out it's aimed at four to eleven year olds and this year's theme is ready set read focused on sports and games so this is the lovely package that my big two have been sent from next they've each got where should we start they've each got a cap I'm going to put them in there. They've each got a pair of trainers, which I feel like suits their personalities perfectly. So for Max, she's got like a pinky, bluey, lilac-y, purple pair. And Andrea's got a super cool pair, which I know we will love. What else have we got? They've each got a smiggle cup. Max is like leopard print, pinks and purples again. And his is football. <clears throat> which they were coming really handy for days out in the summer holidays they've each got a pair of sports socks i'm guessing you wear them like high out of the trainers like that cool vibe perfect colors to match the trainers as well what have they got oh they've also each got a co-ord set i know that my daughter is gonna absolutely love this what would you describe this as like hippie chic I don't know, but she had a jumper in a similar style in the winter and she just wanted to wear it every single Sunday. Can I wear that jumper? Can I wear that jumper? So she was absolutely going to love this with some cycling shorts. And here's co -ord. another gorgeous one. I love co -ord sets. Don't they just make our lives so much easier? Like, you can wear that set, 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 and even for myself. Because it's just a lot less drama getting ready in the morning. Um, Andrea has got, that's not teal, is it? Is it khaki? Is teal green or blue? I can't remember, but this is the colour of it. Shorts and a matching t-shirt. And then they've both got, I'll just show one of these because they've got matching, so we don't need to show both pairs. A pair of football PJs. And as much as my daughter is a girly girl, like obsessed with pink and sparkles and unicorns and mermaids and glitter, she also loves sports, so she will absolutely love these. And they're very unisex, aren't they? So they've both got a pair of them. Then Andrea's got, in his box, he got a pair of swim shorts in football theme, perfect for paddling pool days in the summer as well. And they sent a throwover which I feel we could use as a picnic blanket as well. So that all came from Next. It was kindly gifted by Next, thank you very much. And if you know me, you know I absolutely love Next. Including this on this vlog was nothing to do with the gifting of the items, but I just love Next. Like me working with Next is a dream come true. I used to work for Next in the store, and now look where we are. So I thought I'd just unbox that with you on the vlog. And now I'm gonna go and tidy this garden. Let me show you this garden, one sec. 
This excuse the sound of the neighbour cutting the grass is the current state of our garden. It looks like somebody robbed Smith's toy stores and just chucked everything into our garden. So I'll be getting that tidied today before the rain comes. Slight delay with the garden tidying because little miss woke up and now she's gone back to sleep on me. And if I move an inch, she'll probably scream the house down. So I've just put, and just like that on, you know, the new sex and the city thing, blah, blah, blah. I just, I just don't think I can do it much longer. I keep trying and every week I think this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one, but it's just shocking. It's nothing like the first, like the first show, series, movies, whatever. Maybe it's the writing. I don't know. It's just too slow, too boring. I'm still going to watch it. I've got nothing else to watch, but I just thought I'd chime in and give my opinion that nobody asked for. Are any of you watching? And just like that, what do you think of it? And just like that, I'm going to carry on watching. Well, that's been a whirlwind three days, two days, yeah, two days. <laughs> the last time I vlogged, I mentioned that Valentina was asleep on me and then things just went downhill from there. She, it turns out, long story short, she ended up at the doctor's the next day and she had, she has got, she's got a viral infection, she's got an inflamed throat and she's got an ear infection. Literally, was it Friday? Yeah, Friday morning. She woke up and her ear was literally weeping. And then just to top things off, my granddad had got a sickness book. I'm hoping it's a 24 hour one. So far, so good. So it's been a manic few days, but that's just real life, mum life, and no two days are the same in any household, definitely ours. So now I'm just gonna round this video up. It's not the ending that I was planning. I have got some H&M um, bits to show you. I've got a next parcel that was supposed to be delivered yesterday. And every, did that thing, have you ever had that thing where they say it's been delivered and they lie in? So I'm hoping that's gonna come in the morning. And then I've got another parcel coming from Georgia Asda. So I'm gonna put all that in the next video, round this one up. I hope it's been all right. It's the first proper vlog. It's been a bit mishmash, a bit all over the place. But that's me, basically. Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I'll be back with another one next Sunday. If you have, I would love, here's the cringy bit. I would love if you would like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this YouTube channel, tell all your friends if you want. And now I'm gonna take myself off in my husband's t-shirt, whenever, whenever I'm having a rough day and I'm tired or I'm bloated and I just really want to feel comfortable, I wear one of George's t-shirts with some pyjama shorts and that is the best thing ever, comfiest thing. These are from Costco by the way, best white t-shirts ever. You didn't ask for that information, I'm rambling again, I'm going to take my cup of decaf tea, go and finish this video off, get it ready to upload in the morning and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. I think that's what everybody says isn't it on youtube i don't think i've missed anything else please like this video please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye